There's the anchor locker. And we are going to wash this today. Water's warm here in northern BC, and Derek has a wetsuit, so well, boat chore weekend. So our first chore is to pull the anchor and all the chain out, and clean the chain locker, and then uh, remark our anchor chain. So let's see. We're gonna lower this. Okay, bye. You just tell me when to stop, okay? There's two ways we can do this. We can either disconnect the anchor and leave it on the boat and just undo the chain, or we can bring the whole anchor onto the dock, which I kind of want to do anyways, because we have a spare anchor on the back deck that we want to see if we can store up here, so. Okay, let's do this, let's okay? See what happens. Hopefully I don't fall in. Yeah, don't fall in. So you tell me when to stop, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay. It's pulling right off the... Is that good like that? Oh! <laughs> Derek okay. got it. How much, is that 50 kilograms? Yep. Do you want gloves, babe? Uh, I'll be alright. Okay, here I go. 50 kilograms, 100 and... What is that? I don't know. 2.2. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. feet of chain. There's the anchor locker and we are going to wash this today. burnt out in our little anchor locker. So Derek's gonna check it out. See if we have an extra bulb laying around somewhere. Does it smell better in there? Yeah. Yay! We got one. Okay. Hold on. 400 feet of chain. Derek has some red spray paint. We're gonna try to spray every... This is every 100 feet. Red.
Alright. sacrificing his body in the cold freezing water it saves us so much money so we don't have to get our boat pulled out or pay the fees to go get it uh, lifted by a crane so it's very handy for him to go under and just check on them change them when needed Derek's under the boat right now looking at all our zincs I always get a bit nervous. Oh, it looks cold down there. These are the zincs for our swim grid. Derek's just under there right now changing them. You can see the ones he's pulled off. John? Yeah. I just need a screw again. I see bubbles coming up. I know he's okay down there. Poor Derek, he's under the boat. He's changed quite a few zincs, but I think he's done for today. His hands are really starting to get cold and uh, he's shivering. So he's gonna come up here pretty soon. We're gonna warm him up and uh, we can always finish the zincs later on closer to when the sun's out and uh, the water warms up here a bit more. We really need a dry suit. This wet suit is not doing it for up in northern BC. Oh, maybe a future Christmas gift or something for him. Here he comes. After scrubbing some barnacles. You okay? Yep. Okay, hon, I'll help you. These boat sinks um, help to protect the, the metal parts of our boat from galvanic corrosion. It kind of occurs when any two dissimilar metals are physically or electrically connected and immersed in water. So such as the shaft, the rudder, the outboard, the stern drive, or the propeller. <laughs> 